Okay, well you've all been bothering the key keeper, according to his own account of events, to put some videos on his channel. So what he's going to do for you today, he's going to do some cold starts. He's going to try to become incredibly stuck with that trailer over there. We may have to rescue him with a Reliant, his front wheel drive. I know my truck won't go back there, we already had that show. Um, anyway, I think he's also going to cold start some lawnmowers for you today. Yeah, we're going to do the lawnmowers first. So let's get started. Of course, the, the truck's fuel injected. It ought to start right up. Got a windshield wiper on the Reliant Wagon. So the first lawnmower I'm going to cold start is the one sitting on the trailer. Haven't done anything to it. Hasn't been started since before winter, so let's see what's going to happen. Oh man, it looks like I need some ass protection. I've got <laughs> ice and water all over my seat. That's okay, we got a fucking right break on. I'm not even going to bother to check the oil. That's not good. But I will check the gas. Probably rancid. Alright, uh, doesn't choke. says simplicity. You're supposed to be simple to start. Again, this guy hasn't been started since before winter time, so we'll see how he does. Put the parking brake on. Got some indicator lights. Alright. Half throttle. Choke. Beautiful. Not bad. A bit of a whine to it. I've lost it. Oh! Good save. Good save. Now, this was a free lawnmower. We actually traded a guy, I think, a set of uh, Ford Crown Victoria rims for this lawn tractor. This was, he has a, he runs storage units, and he gave us this lawn tractor because somebody abandoned it in the storage units, it's a John Deere 111, and we got a bunch of implements with it, I think there's a garden tiller and a snow plow, yeah. all kinds of fun little stuff. Lower deck. We put a battery in this tractor and we had to run a new fuel line. We got it to run, it still needs some work, but it is basically running, so let's see if our battery survived the winter. Well, that's a good idea. I wasn't going to do it. I figured you were. No. Watch it scoot across the driveway here. Crash into something. Hopefully I don't something. Think it's gonna be this lucky. Oh. I'm not getting anything. I'm not sitting on that seat either. <laughs> well, I have to do the next best thing. You got any batteries or logs around or anything? No. I got that brick. We'll get that brick. Maybe that'll be enough. Oh, he got his hand dirty. Wouldn't think that would phase the key keeper. Nothing. I don't believe it. It's got a finicky dead man switch in it. Oh, look at this wiring down here. It's not even plugged in. No. Oh, you've got it shorted. Safety first around here. I'm telling you what. That's right, don't you forget it. All right. Suppose this thing will start. You gonna try starting That's it? That's a good question. I'm gonna try that. It's been sitting all winter, of course. And I think I put it away. Oh, I, I can't tell when I put it away. Got our dead man expertly deactivated here. Choke's kind of sticky. Must have been for a long time. Oh, oh. I don't believe it. Oh, that battery's done. <laughs> oh no. Charge that up. Yep. But at least you tried. Yeah, I did try. I gotta give it that. I'm impressed. Let's go see how my big mountain piece of junk starts. Alright. Alright, time to see what's wrong with the key keeper's big brown honey wagon. As 
Here are all my subscribers know this is a 1994 Chevrolet pickup truck with a 4.3 V6. When it's not busy falling apart. Right. Really, it's not a bad truck. There are some of you. <laughs> there are some of you who have made comments on both of our videos, you know, wondering if this truck is really a piece of junk. And the simple fact of the matter is that no, for what it is, it's not a bad truck. The air conditioning still works on it, runs good. But he calls my truck a little toy, and so his is a big brown piece of junk. Hit it. There we go. Hasn't been driven in two days, according to the key keeper, which I don't believe. He drives that thing everywhere. Now it's got bad luck get stuck. Now he's going to try to move that trailer. We already moved some of the more valuable automobiles out of the way. Ought to move that one. I ought to move my S10. Okay, now this is just a two-wheel drive C1500 WT. Got a 4.3 liter V6 in it. Quit doing that. I'm trying to narrate here. Anyway, now before you count him out, before you count the key keeper out, because he's just two-wheel drive, open differential, no limited slip, nothing like that. This truck, honest to goodness, no exaggeration, no lie, pulled an F250 4x4 out of the stuck out of the mud it was stuck in even in four wheel drive it couldn't come out all the key keeper did was give it a good jerk with this thing and he pulled it the rest of the way out oh yeah the trailer ball's got a wicked slant on it check that out it's definitely off true but he got it out all right we'll see if you can get stuck bud It's awful mushy over there. I don't know. I don't know if he can get it done or not. He certainly thinks he can. Of course, we don't even know what the way the trailer ball is that we can even get the trailer to latch on it. That might be the next fun thing. Now this trailer's been sitting here for a while too. The key keeper's innovative, uh, it has the innovative method of getting it to latch. Did it latch? No. <laughs> Got a whale on it with a sledgehammer one of these days. Anyway, the key keeper, I don't think he's moved this trailer since, uh, well, Christmas. Looks like Christmas to me. <laughs> of course, that wasn't all that long ago. You sure are turning that handle an awful lot. Is he going to get stuck? Is he going to spin his wheels coming out of here? I think he's got a good chance on this, although there's mud on the other side. It's a puddle I worry about. Oh, ho, ho. Can he pull it? I would say yes, he can. I've never watched an episode of that either, just to answer all your questions. Beautiful for a big brown piece of crap.